Today we will be going over accounting assumptions and principles. Our first assumption is the entity assumption. This means that the owner is separate from the company it owns. For example, if the owner goes and puts a new pool in their backyard, they cannot then go and put that on the company's books. They must remain separate. The going concern assumption means that as investors and stockholders invest in these companies, they can safely assume that the company will be in business for at least 12 months going forward. It is the assumption that they are not going to close down. The stable monetary unit assumption means that the company will use the same form of currency in all of their years in financial statements. You do not consider inflation in this. The first principle listed is the historical cost principle. This, this says that we will record our assets for the price we bought them for and not what they are valued at today. Whether the value has gone up or down, we will keep it at the price we purchased it for. The next principle is the revenue recognition. This states that we must record the revenue in the period that we earn it. Whether we are receiving cash or not, if we received, if we earned our revenue in the first quarter, we will record that revenue in the first and just record a receivable for the cash that will later be received. The next principle is the matching principle. This states that we must record expenses in the period that the revenue is earned. This mostly relates to cost of goods sold. In the period that the inventory is sold and the revenue is earned, we also record cost of goods sold, which is the expense of selling. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what accounting class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson Building. You will find all the details you need to know about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.